Hello, boys and girls. Today's memory verse is Psalms chapter 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Amen. Let's repeat the memory verse one more time. Psalms chapter 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Online Sunday School is the place to be. Come learn about the Savior who died for you and me. He rose from the dead, he's alive forevermore. At Tap Sunday School is fun, come learn more about the Hi Lord. boys and girls, Fiona Wiffle Snarkles here. <laughs> and I'm just so glad to be here today with everybody. And I heard Pastor talking about Psalms 139, 14. And it says, I... I will praise thee, which is the Lord, because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, and my soul knows it right well. And boys and girls, when the Bible talks about fearfully, it's not this type of fearfully. It's this type of fearfully. Ah, oh, like we're awesome. God is awesome. He made us awesome. And the word wonderful is like, Wow, 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 God, look how great you made me. And you know what else God did? He gave everybody gifts and talents. And uh, 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 this sounds like Squawker. Squawker, where, where is he? Squawker. There you are. Squawker, you keep interrupting me. I'm trying to talk to the boys and girls. He has to learn to wait his turn, and he's trying, but, oh, stopped. Ah, he must have did a really good job learning to wait. Oh, Squawker must be gone somewhere. Well, that's good. And I guess, so, what, what, Squawker, where are you? Uh, Squawker, where, Squawker, where are you? Oh, there you are. What are you doing up there? Come on down here. Oh, my little Squawker. This is my friend Squawker. You guys just hold on, hold on, Squawker. He's trying to learn to wait his turn, right? Okay, you're gonna wait your turn. Okay, he's gonna wait his turn. So this is my friend Squawker. He's just Squawker. Please wait your turn. You promise? Okay. So this is my friend Squawker, and he doesn't like to wait. Oh, Squawker. Squawker, you have to learn to wait your turn. You promise? Okay, I'm I'm believing you this time. Okay. All right. This is my friend Squawker. You guys Squawker. Come on. Okay, I got an idea. I will give you an example of what it's like to wait, okay? Okay, so I'm going to wait, and I'm going to let you talk first. Oh, he likes that, boys and girls. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Squawker. Squawk away. Uh, <laughs> Squawker, you're supposed to talk now. Well, then I'm going to talk. This is my friend Squawker. He's all Squawker. Oh, listen. If you promise to wait your turn, then we can go do something together. What do you think of that? Yeah? Okay. You're going to try? Okay. This is my friend Squawker, and he likes to squawk a lot, and he's doing really good right now because he's waiting his turn. Good job, Squawker. Good job. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, boys and girls, Squawker, he does squawk a lot, doesn't he? Uh, but he's learning to wait his turn. <laughs> and, oh, what were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about how wonderful God made us and how he gives us gifts and talents. And do you know everybody gets gifts and talents, boys and girls? And moms and dads, too. And you know what? When, when my brother Willie was born, he also was born with a guitar in his hand. Well, he didn't really have a guitar in his hand, but... But he was so little, and he picked up a guitar, and he started strumming it. And he could play it. No one even taught him. That was his talent. And 
and I thought, oh, I'm going to try it. So I looked up the guitar, and I tried to play it, and guess what? Everybody plugged their ears. <laughs> it wasn't my talent. And then, and then later on, Willie learned how to sing. He could sing so easy. So I tried to sing. And guess what? Everybody plugged their ears. <laughs> and, and then Willie was in school when he got a little bit older. And the teacher said, hey, all the kids should draw some artwork. And Willie did it so fast and so easy. It was amazing. And he had another talent. And I started thinking, well, I don't want to be jealous of of Willie's talents because God gives everybody talents. So I thought, I'm going to go to God and ask God, where's my talent? And so I did. I prayed and I said, God, you give everyone talents and would you show me what my talent is? And guess what? Not long after that, I was in school and my teacher said, everybody, we're going to learn about poetry. Does anyone know what a poem is? A poem is like fat, cat, sat, fat, you know, it all rhymes. And <laughs> what happened was so funny. I wrote a poem so fast, and my teacher read it to the whole class, and everyone said, Fiona, I think that's your talent. You're a poet, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> that was so funny. Anyways, and then, and then the Lord, what he said, he gives people gifts, and then my mommy brought home uh, a, this little gift box for me. It's, it's a surprise inside. You ready? Okay, would you like to see what's in my box? It's not a pair of silly socks. There's something furry right inside. Oh, don't hide. There's something in my box real nice. Would you like to see them? They're my three little mice. Oh, and there's Billy and Tilly and Millie. Aren't they cute? And they give mice kisses. And watch, watch, watch. They tickle. See these little whiskers? They don't bite. They tickle. Whoa. Watch, watch. Okay. Turn the camera onto the mices and you turn your cheek. And if you want a little micey kiss, you turn your cheek like that and they'll give you a little micey kiss if they don't bite. Okay, you ready? <coughs> Did you boys and girls like those mice kisses? Were they tickling? Oh, and well, I think I better say goodbye to them. So goodbye, Billy. Goodbye, Millie. Goodbye, Tilly. Billy. Millie. Tilly. Billy. Tilly. Oh, no. They're trying to escape. <laughs> that was fun. That's another talent God gave me to work with puppets. Yeah. And oh, you know what, boys and girls? Sometimes you don't even know what your talent is. You have to discover it. You have to find out what it is. And oh, maybe I'm good at telling jokes. Okay, I'm gonna try telling jokes. All right, ready? Here I go. All right, one, two, three. Let me go think of jokes. Okay, okay, I got one. I got one. This is really funny. Ready? Okay. Um, why don't Sharks eat clowns because they taste funny. <laughs> oh, maybe that's not my talent. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I hear you kids laughing. Oh, my God, another talent. Oh, I'm glad I made you laugh. That Bible says bath laughter does good like a medicine. Oh, that means it makes you feel so good. Well, boys and girls, maybe there's someone out there that doesn't know their talent either. That's right. Like maybe you're maybe you're a fast runner or you're a good soccer player or you can play an instrument or you can sing or you can dance or you can remember stuff really good. Having a good memory is a talent. And oh, and there's songwriting and writing and ha. Huh, there's even wake, wake, wakeboarding. What if you're little and you can go on that board and you can balance yourself? That's a talent too. And well, you know what? I think we can pray and ask God to help us find our talents, like I did. Okay, so we're gonna pray, and you know, you can pray this way, and you can pray laying down, and you can pray on your knees, and you can pray sitting up, because praying is talking to God. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you for making us wonderfully and fearfully. It's just awesome. And God, for giving us gifts and talents, and Lord, we're asking that every one of us, every boy and girl, even every mom and dad out there, God, that, that they can find the talents that you have given them to do a work for your kingdom, to give you glory. That's why we have our talents. And God, I just pray in Jesus' name that you just help us all find them. In the name of Jesus.
Hi, I'm Talia. And I'm Danny. We are both from Vancouver. And welcome to One Hot Summer. Also, today we are interviewing two special guests with amazing talents. And their names are Joseph and Danielle. On to Danielle. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I started violin when I was about three. Wow, that's a really young age. I got my first violin when I was about five. Okay, do you have any other hobbies? And sewing, machine sewing, going to school. Why did you choose the violin? And what brought you into violin? Well, I've always really loved music. I guess choosing the violin was sort of my option for just using my music for a good cause or using it for me. Are you self-taught? No, I went to lessons. Hmm. I go to lessons. Do you play by your ear or do you play by notes or how does that work? Um, usually I learn song and once I'm done, it'll just be in my head and I'll just be able to memorize it. Do you ever get nervous when, when you're performing? Yeah, all the time. And what helps you like cope? What helps you like when you're nervous? Do you like um, practice? Usually I'll just look at my family and they'll just make me feel like they're the only ones looking. That's, That's nice. Cool. So do you have a song for us today? Yeah. Um, What's I'm gonna play the Happy Farmer. Happy Farmers. Farmers. Nice. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Ready when you are. yourself well i'm from jamaica i've been playing guitar for eight years and yeah i started when i was eight i'm 16 now um what inspired me is that i was i was bought a guitar for my birthday it was actually on my birthday and i enjoyed it and i realized i had a knack for it so i continued and soon i got a real guitar and i started going to classes and then I started going to classes after like two years. When I was 10, then I started just teaching myself, looking at YouTube videos, and that's how I progressed, basically, up to this point. Okay. Do you have any other hobbies? Well, um, I guess I'm working right now because I have exams and um, kickboxing, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you play in a band? I used to play in a band. I played in several productions. I played for the University Singers Choir band. I played for my youth band at church, youth group. And I played for the church band like once or twice. How many guitars do you have? Um, about five. Oh. Like two electric, no, actually three electric guitars. Um, one classical guitar, the toy guitar that I told you about. I don't even know where that is. And I have a steel guitar. It was really my uncle's guitar, but he gave it to me. Yeah. Uh, do you ever get nervous when you play around a uh, yeah. 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 What makes you feel better when you get nervous? Well, I just think about the guitar, think about what I'm playing. It kind of takes my mind off who's watching me and what I'm like, where I'm performing. Yeah. Do you have a song for us? Yes, I do. You raise me up. Okay, yes, thank you. You ready? Yes. yes. 
Amazing. That was really amazing, yeah. <laughs> that was really beautiful, Joseph. Thank you. So, I like to I like to write some more songs. I've already written that song. It's called Turbulence. I don't know if 
yeah, you probably have heard of it, but it's it's up there. It's on iTunes and Spotify and everything. Oh wow! So, oh wow! Really? Very. Yeah. Nice. How long did it? So, we'll try some more. Um, like three songs, three more songs. Maybe I can even like make a full album. An album is like over five songs or something. I can probably come up with four more songs, five more That's songs. Amazing. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't know. It takes time and stuff. I need a studio and everything, but if it works out, it works out. Yeah. Thanks for joining us here on One Hot Summer. Hi, Pent Up Kids. So happy to see you again. Hmm. Did you know that the human body consists of 37.2? trillion cells? Did you know that the heart beats 100,000 times per day and pumps 2,000 gallons of blood per, per day? Did you know that the average head holds 100,000 strands of hair? Psalm 139 verse 14 says, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. Another version says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. God made all the delicate inner parts of our bodies. We were designed with multiple systems that all work intricately together. Our eyes allow us to see. Our ears enable us to hear. Our noses allow us to smell. Our tongue and our mouth allow us to eat, taste, and talk. Our skin enable us to feel. Our brain gives the ability to think, process, and be creative. Our immune system keeps us healthy. Our digestive system processes food into energy. We may be similar in the things that we like to do the books we like to read, the places we like to go, the clothes we like to wear. We may be similar, but we are all different. Take for example, an, a pair of identical twins. They have us all fooled. Sometimes we can't even tell who is who, whether this is Peter or Paul but they are different. They may look alike, but they are different. Genesis 1 verse 27 says, we were created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. We didn't just evolve into the world into who we are. We were designed and created with a purpose. A purpose to be the best version of ourselves. So if you enjoy playing soccer, I need you to try to be the best soccer player. If you enjoy baking, I need you to try to be the best baker there is. If you enjoy swimming, you should try to be the best swimmer there is. Whatever it is that you like to do or you enjoy doing, 
or you think you'd like to learn how to do it. Try to develop and to improve in that area and be the best version of yourself. We were designed with much love and care. The Bible teaches that we are the apple of his eyes. We were created with the love of God to serve him and to have a strong desire for him and to have an ongoing relationship with him. So the next time, you walk by a mirror. Just remember to look in it and say, I am special and you're amazing just the way you are. Thank you. I will praise the Lord for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wow, look at me. God made my two hands to open and close, two thumbs and fingers, two feet and ten toes. And my hands, they can clap and wave and pray, and my feet, they can run and jump and play. Wow, I will praise you, Lord, for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And God made my two eyes that can see all around, and he made my two ears to hear the quietest sound. And my ears, they can tinkle, and my eyes, they can blink. Wow, God even gave me a brain that can think. <laughs> I will praise you, Lord, because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And God made my nose and my mouth to breathe, and my mouth, it can talk, and my nose can make me <laughs> chew. Sneeze, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> and God made my body to move fast or slow. Why? God made me from the top of my head to my tippy toes. Hee <laughs> hee. I will praise the Lord because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And God made my heart and he put it deep down inside. And as long as it keeps beating, I know I'm alive. <laughs> that, that was funny. Oh, and, and God breathed his spirit deep down in my soul and he gave me gifts and talents so everyone will know. Wow, I will praise you, Lord, because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And boys and girls, you are too. And now, our Sunday School class changes for summer 2020. We begin with the beginner class, Fedora. She's leaving the beginner class and going to the primary class. Congratulations. Raymond Jr. leaving the beginner class and will be going to the primary class. Congrats, Raymond. Davina leaving the beginner class and going to the primary class. Congratulations. And now Imani. She is leaving the primary class and will be joining the juniors. Congrats, Imani. And now our graduates for summer 2020. We bid goodbye as they leave to join the Ignite Youth Group. Congratulations, Daniela Moody! And Noe Gamma. Enjoy your time in the Ignite. We will miss you. Another round of applause for our graduates. We also want to take the time to celebrate our regular school graduates for the year. Preschool, Davina Francis leaves to go to kindergarten in the fall. Adalia Stamp lives in Montreal and she leaves grade six to go to high school. Noe Gama is leaving grade seven and is going to high school in the fall. Congratulations. Our high school grads, Felicity has graduated grade 12. Congratulations. Valentina has graduated grade 12. Congratulations. And now, 
we take the time to recognize our university grad for June 2020. Jiro Amato. Jiro has graduated with a Bachelor's of Commerce degree from the UBC Sauter School of Business. Congratulations, Jiro. The sky is the limit. And now, Jiro has a few words for us. Hey guys, just wanted to say how blessed you are to have Pentab as part of your family. They're a really great support team. And I hope that you guys work hard, learn from your mistakes, and chase your dreams. Whether you want to be a basketball player, you want to be an astronaut, engineer, whatever it may be. Remember to work hard and follow your dreams. And one day you can achieve it. Thank you. God bless. Do you have talent or a gift or know someone who does? Well, you're in the right place because One Hot Summer is looking just for you. One Hot Summer is a place where we recognize young talent like you. Contact, Contact us in with the, the links, links below. Bye! Now it's time to recap. Let's repeat the memory verse one more time. Psalms chapter 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. You're home. What are you doing with your time? Online Sunday School is the place to be. Come learn about the Savior who died for you and me. He rose from the dead. He's alive forevermore. Head Tap Sunday School is fun. Come learn more about the Lord. Doesn't matter if you're here. Doesn't really matter if you're there. Our God is so big. He's everywhere. Doesn't matter the way you dress. Doesn't really matter if your hair's a mess. Watch online with us and you'll be blessed. 